Okay, so we're back. We have just entered the first of Odin's trials. Not sure what this is going to bring us, but it would appear we are going to rebuild the sword that can kill the gods. Of course, we are currently without a sword, so... I'm going to light the torches as I go. Um, because I'm sure we've all heard about the uh, game breaking one star review. This way, follow this way. Nothing. Where are we? Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver the daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Jesus. Freaking me out, dude. So I don't know why I'm opting to just kind of go left every time at the moment. Um, might wind up me going round in circles at some point. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. So. I'm going to turn right. Focus. Use your mind. Disappear. 
to let him slip through your fingers once again. You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do, you know. She doesn't. Listen for his voice, listen. Dillian? Where listen are you? Listen for his voice, Dillian. She's not here. It's not here. We told you. We told you it was a trick. That lit? I don't think it was. However, I'm gonna go this way and I will check it right. So up there it's not lit. There's no torch this time. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Can I open this gate? That was definitely dark. That voice doesn't sound like Dillian anymore. What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. It sounds like something here. That sounds fucking human. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Holy fucking shit. Come on, give me a fucking clue. Holy shit, I am 100% fucking lost. Right, I've taken a tact of just following the red shields at the moment. Which, in turn, makes it look like I am going round in fucking circles. I'm walking around in damn circles. New idea. I've gone for the different colour shield. Oh, voice getting louder.
It's not Dillion. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Okay, so is that one trial down? I'm I'm guessing. It's done. You did it, but there's more. There's more. Time. To keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. So let's go with trial two. The Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom only by giving can you receive in return? For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua.
was that? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? Oh. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. And there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. That's cool. The, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. The vibrator can... Um, the controller, sorry, vibrates as you're walking towards the breeze. Obviously a fire crackling as well somewhere. Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. Oh yeah. Right, I'm not sure if I'm actually walking towards the breeze. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Water. Your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? So incredible. Oh, it quietens down as you look away from it.
seems there's no escape from the past in this place. And so she's forced to relive it. the motherfucking door. Leave it behind. Jesus fucking creep out. Oh 
Holy shit. Jesus, it's a pretty creepy that. Kind of in the light now, don't see me, don't see me. is testing you. You are in control. Whoa, only saw that light. A well. There's a well. Shit. I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. I just don't think it's freaking me out. I need to just keep moving. Get over there.
She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. Hey. Trial two down. Oh. Nailing these creepy ass trials. God of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Trial wow, number three. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. You need the runes to fight Delia. You need 
Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said he would wait. He, he's close. He loves you. Calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. Oh, we're currently using the two different realities to alter what we've affected in the world. of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Dear. in this world. No, not in this world. You can saw that she was strong. I was thinking I kind of needed to get up there to get the rune. I'm thinking now maybe I need to
through things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. Confused because if I change the reality, bring the steps back with a locked gate. You broke him, you killed him. You couldn't see the darkness within you. You have blood on your hand, trampled him, flattened it. The curse cannot be undone. It's gotta be something, hasn't it? You broke you killed you couldn't see the darkness within you. Oh right. The crazy mirror things. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death.
him with your love because he believed in you. You have no time for this. Speed up. These rooms are nothing. It's all part of their game. They've set you trials to distract you. They've set you up, and now they're going to watch you for it. These trials mean nothing. Nothing at Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Dela nam komen. tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods what if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in your heart. Worlds, the gods are huge. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language, you don't understand. Zimbel was right. You wasted time. You're cursed. You succeed. Slow, slow, quicker. Serve more purpose opening that first, I think.
Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the Druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's she not is. going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. I wish this Killing the place would be too easy. Yeah. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking them. Yes, you one memory. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. When they come to the gods, to protect you. They're from eating it. you from the inside. They want to kill you. They, they want to crush it. it. They want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind. And they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. And that's the third trial down. As we head over to do the fourth and final trial. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. The old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. 
was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew. What the hell? Yeah, relax, this I'm doing it. Alright, so it is definitely something to do with these gates. inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. And that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware, because there will be death in that house. Can't get to it now, though. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. So that's gonna using the gates. It's like a reality changing thing. I did it. I did it. It's not done yet. Just a small piece of the puzzle. This should be just a lining up the shards exercise. There we go. Quite a clever idea. Yeah, I don't want to go in now, it's gone dark. General. 
Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The roots. Focus. The roots. Focus the roots. Jesus, what the hell's going on? Ah, oh, that's fucking bullshit. Holy fucking shit! as hell. Senua! Senua! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but... they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. 
Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Right, so anyway, we have completed the four warrior trials. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. It's time to uh, go back to the tree.